Good? Good. What up world, Julian here, and welcome back to my channel where I tell you how I live my bachelor life here in New York City. Okay, so before we begin, I must publicly apologize to you all. On my last YouTube video, which was my first YouTube video, I told a lie and I am deeply ashamed of myself for that. Like this video and you subscribe to my channel, I promise you weekly videos where I just tell you how I live my bachelor lifestyle. So, did you like you it? You see, I promised you guys weekly videos where I would tell you how I live my luxurious bachelor lifestyle here in New York City and that was almost two months ago. This is my first video since then. Shake my head. Just like a typical light-skinned dude to smile on your face and lie. Am I right, ladies? But it was all for good reason. Since uploading my first YouTube video, a lot has happened for your boy. First of all, I met a lot of new internet friends because of YouTube from all around the world. I mean, even a few of you have started to follow me on Instagram, so you've seen just how busy I have been. Also, we made it to apartment therapy. For those of you that don't know, I'm a freelance publicist here in New York, and I'm constantly getting my clients press, so it was really exciting getting the attention for myself for once. I mean, I am a Leo after all. I'll include a link to the article in the description below, so definitely check it out when you can. In addition to chasing the clout, I also managed to finish a couple DIY projects around the loft. In my first YouTube video, I mentioned how I had all these DIY projects that I wanted to do, but I never finished them, from uh, doing a gallery wall, uh, to hell, finishing my living room upstairs. Uh, so right here will be an eventual gallery wall I have planned. I wanna kind of mix and match some things. I wanna put a TV up here. I might move this thing to on this side. Well, over the past two months, I miraculously found the time to do both of those projects and then some. So on this video, I'm gonna show you how I managed to flip my living room and turn it into the ultimate setting for a big city bachelor like myself. Let's begin. First, I finally completed my gallery wall. I even managed to install a new TV upstairs all by myself without causing irreversible damage to me, my apartment, or the TV. So yeah, I feel very accomplished about that. After I completed the gallery wall, I took a step back to admire the work I managed to do without falling 20 feet to my demise and decided that something was missing. This looks good, but I have an idea. I felt that the project needed some color. So naturally, I threw in the appropriate workwear. I mean, I'll take any excuse to wear overalls and not look like a toddler. I went to my local hardware store and got mad cans of paint. Seven cans to be exact. All seven cans were a gradient shade of green. Say that seven times fast, Ariana. I went from top to bottom, light to dark, all without a single drop of paint in sight. In terms of the paint itself, I used color samples from Benjamin Moore with the smallest quantity available, which was about 14 ounces. So let me know if you want any paint because I have plenty left over. Trust me. Also, shout out to this workwear look. This might be my style for spring. 
best thing. After the paint dried, I decided to add even more greenery to the space. It is my favorite color after all, with some plants. I'm praying to the gods above that I managed to keep these babies alive until at least summer. However, after I completed the stairs, I took a step back and still felt like something was missing. My homies, duh. You see, I've been living in New York City for the past 10 years. The past five years, I've been living 100% by myself. Before moving into this apartment last spring, I was living in a studio, so I really couldn't entertain that much. But now I have two floors to have friends over anytime I want, play music as loud as I want, start fights with anyone who dares to throw a wild draw four card on me during Uno game night. If you play me, you play yourself. Remember that. Well, I can't be played. Uh, a person trying to play me plays themselves. So when I moved into the loft last spring, I knew that I wanted to host parties here all the time. And after I uploaded my first YouTube video, all my friends started to hit me up and realize like, yo, did you ever have a housewarming party? And I was like, I did not. And so I figured what better time to throw a housewarming party than now, especially with this, you know, living room that I just finished, right? Okay, so it's T minus 48 hours until my housewarming party and my living room situation looks like this. Yeah, this is no bueno, homies. But we definitely have to do something about this. So, it's looking like I need to call in reinforcements. I really need a trek to the promised land. No, by all means, just stand there and watch. I don't need your help. Just kidding. You know I love you guys. All right. Let's get started. Okay, so next up was adding the basic things that you see in any living room, beginning with the rug. Please excuse my crusty ass feet. I opted for a jute rug because they are much easier to maintain than high pile rugs. I admit that sometimes I forget to take off my shoes in the house, which I know is not okay, especially in a city like New York, but at least a jute rug is somewhat forgiving. Next, I added a side table, and I topped it off with a plant that is barely hanging in there, and a diffuser from Muji, and a nice daily reminder to all my haters out there. I kept the cozy vibes 
going with the bean bag, also from Muji, for those extra lazy hangover days. And lastly, some cheap ass pillows from Ikea to bring it all together. Stay. Sit. Morning world. So last night, uh, you saw me get the living room together. I, I cleaned up, I added curtains, the light fixture, all that good stuff. And I woke up and I realized it's mad brown in here. Like the floor is brown, the couch is brown, the wall is brown, I'm brown. So I think I need to call in reinforcements here. I am here with my good friend Simi. Uh, she's actually my next door neighbor and she is a very, very talented muralist. So Simi, what are we doing today? We're gonna paint a mural, Julian. We're gonna paint a mural. <laughs> Let's do it. I swear I offered to help Simi, but her and I used to work together back in the day. So she seen my handwriting and felt that I would be better off to stay behind the camera for this part. Simi also suggested that I share a few quick facts with you all while she's doing what she does best. First of all, only 5% of artworks on major museum walls in the US are by women artists. Secondly, 81 cents is the amount that full-time women artists earn for every dollar a male artist makes. The first thing we can collectively do to change this is to at least become aware of the situation. So, there you go. Thanks for being a friend, Simi, and even more thanks for this dope mural. Well, this is it. We're done here. Tomorrow is the big day. Your boy is exhausted. I am tired and I am ready for bed. Uh, so yeah, until tomorrow. Okay guys, this is it. I mean, I'm done, I'm finished. I'm very, very, very hyped about the turnout. Uh, it all looks great. So let me just give you a very, very quick tour because I'm pretty sure homie's about to start showing up any minute now. Or who knows, maybe no one will show up because of, uh, of this stink weather we're having. I mean, I guess I wasn't as popular as I thought I was. Awkward. But hopefully people show up. But anyway, uh, here's how everything turned out. Um, this sign that you saw me change a couple times, I got that from CB2. Uh, comes with a variety of letters, it's really good. Uh, most of these pictures that uh, you see came from Society6. Uh, with the exception of uh, Luxury Diddy right there. Um, obviously, that's me and my mother. Uh, this actually is the code for my Wi-Fi if you're ever so fortunate to come to my crib. Um, here's the train, so give me a minute. This couch is from CB2, but your boy got it for $500 on Craigslist. Um, this coffee table is also a CB2 Craigslist find. Are you really throwing a party for your homies if you don't have gushers within arm's reach? Like, what are you doing if you don't have that? Uh, as you guys saw earlier, this mural is from my good friend, Simi. Make sure you uh, follow her and hit her up if you have any questions. It's pretty representative of me and what I like and what I do and all that good stuff. So yeah, this is it. As you can see, I got mad food for this party uh, and mad Scooby snacks and gushers, but no one is here, bro. Like this party was supposed to start at two o'clock. My man's it's 2.45 and I'm, I'm here talking to a camera. Like, am I not that cool as I thought I was? Like, damn. All right, well, I'm about to get the party started and have a little drink drink. So 
hopefully people will show up will hopefully people will show up see you in a bit So there you have it, world. That's what I have been up to for the past two months. Um, I'm very thankful for all the opportunities coming my way. Um, as always, please continue, hold on, that's the train. Um, from my clients, to my neighbors, to my friends, to my family, to you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Um, as always, please like, subscribe, comment, share, all that bullshit that all the other YouTubers tell people to do. I really don't know, uh, and I really don't care because I be doing this for fun. So um, until next time, be nice to each other. Peace.